Ooh, an email from Mark. Expat Taffy. <laughs> Hi there folks, welcome to another video, just a quickie, on this day, Sunday, the 15th of March. A video by the brilliant expat Taffy, as you can see, titled, Fake NASA News. The brilliant expat Taffy, no less. Well Taff, before you get stuck into that, quick thanks to my amazing patrons. With massive thanks and appreciation to all my patrons, including new patrons Sharpworks, X Penguin 95, Stephen York, Ue Closer, Wee Scott's Dog, Marconius, Jason Utting, Kevin Seidel, and Doc Brew, and my latest patron, Marius. Thank you all so very much. A video by the brilliant expat Cappy. Hold on a second, I haven't said Roll VT. <laughs> Roll VT. An article by NASA appearing in the Daily Express today. Well, Taff, I'm going to have to interrupt you straight away. You do realise that the Daily Express is not a science publication, but a tabloid newspaper. NASA News. Space Agency shares out-of-the-world image from Apollo 9 mission. NASA has shared an out-of-the-world image as the Space Agency marks the anniversary of the 1969 Apollo 9 mission. Oh, I see. NASA have released some anniversary information and the Daily Express are just publishing it. Fair enough. As you can see there, it says NASA News. NASA has shared. It's not some other agency, it's NASA, okay? Don't labour the point, Taff. It's a news release. Okay, folks. Now, the brilliant expat Taffy. What? The brilliant expat Taffy. Look, Taff. Brilliant people don't go around talking about themselves in a third person saying how wonderful they are. I mean, I don't go around saying the amazing Mr. Sensible. Perhaps I should. Brilliant expat Taffy has left a comment in that article. I'm surprised Bertie Slackout isn't there yet. But I left a comment there. There was no Apollo 9 mission round the moon. That's right, Taff. There was no Apollo 9 mission around the moon. It'll probably be the last thing you get right in this entire video. All these earlier missions were is cover-ups for rocket failures. So you're saying there were no rockets in space before Apollo 9? As was Apollo 11. Really? Well I wonder what Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins would have to say about that then? They haven't got a rocket that can get to the moon today. So how come they claim they had one 50 odd years ago. Look you smeghead. We don't have a manned rocket that could go to the moon right now. But we've sent plenty of probes and orbiters to the moon. Okay folks. Take a look at this photo here now. Okay. This photo is the lem in that Daily Express article today. It's a photo by NASA that they claim is the Apollo 9 lem in space. That's because it's a photo of the Apollo 9 lem in space. So it must be orbiting the moon because it's detached from the command module. You complete and utter... I, I can't say it. Now, how many of you can spot Errors in that photo that tells you it's 100% fake. Well, if it is a fake taff, then it has to be the absolute worst fake of ever. Because if you were going to fake an image of the LEM orbiting the moon, then the first thing you would do and make sure is that there's an image of the moon behind it and not the Earth. <laughs> the brilliant expat taffy took one look at it and said, I can see quite a few errors that tells you it's fake. It's not a genuine photo taken of any lem in space. 
Well, I wonder if you will spot that it's the Earth behind it and not the Moon. There you are, folks. You've seen the photo NASA claims is the Apollo 9 lem in space, orbiting the Moon. You complete and utter gimboid. Now, did any of you spot any errors in that photo? Well, do enlighten us, my brilliant friend. Because what you're going to have now is the brilliant expat Kathy showing you the errors in that photo, telling you it's not just a fake photo, it's a photo filled with whistleblower's clues. Brilliant. Yes, whistleblower's clues telling you they faked the photo, folks. Hold on a second. You're saying they faked a photo of the lunar excursion module orbiting the moon, forgot to actually change the fact that it's showing the Earth to the moon, but still had to put in some sort of clues to show it was fake. And one example is a white eyeball with a black pupil in the middle. An eyeball? Watch for the photo coming up, analysed by the brilliant expat Taffy, folks. Ah, a brilliant analysis by the brilliant expat Taffy of this photo. Brilliant. Now, starting top left, in green, I've marked an arrow showing the door. Now, that is correct. You're supposed to be showing us what's wrong with this photo. Now, under that, I mark ladder one. Now, why have I marked ladder one? Because it's the ladder. Well, that ladder one is in the correct position. It's directly under the door. So the ladder one is the correct ladder. But if you go along to the other side, and I'll give you a closer look at it, you've got a ladder on the leg opposite. How can we have a second ladder? Well, the answer is we don't. The legs are clad with various materials and they're tied with lots and lots of ties giving you a regular bumpy look to them it's not a ladder it's just a padded leg another thing before there's any disputes over that oh you're seeing things all paradoia and all that bloody nonsense look at my bottom yellow arrow pointing to the left under the foot pad you've got a landing sensor in this photo Yes, you have. It's a five foot long probe that detects when the LEM touches the lunar surface so that the astronauts can switch off the main engine. Now, that's one thing that was never added to any of the LEMs. The ladder leg never had a landing sensor underneath it. So how come we've got one here? Well, the reason you've got a landing sensor on the ladder leg on Apollo 9 is that Apollo 9 had four sensors, one on every single landing leg. How many of you are going to pass a comment saying you cannot see that landing sensor hanging down under the footpad? Look, expat twat, you obviously haven't got the faintest idea of the Apollo 9 mission. Apollo 9 mission was an engineering mission. It was a set of tests. They didn't send this lot up to the moon without trying things out first, you know. This is why your photo that you're claiming is fake has the Earth in the background. Because the entire Apollo 9 mission took place in low Earth orbit. Nobody had been able to test the LEM before this point. It was a series of complex manoeuvres and tests. I use a clip of film from the movie Apollo 13 because it actually demonstrates it quite well. They had to disengage the command module and the service module from the LEM adapter. This is where the LEM was stored, like a garage. You can see it just being revealed now. They then had to rotate the command module and the service module so that the nose was pointed back at the LEM, because what they needed to do was dock the two, extract it from its garage, so that they could continue on to the moon. None of this had been tried before. They had to see if it could be done or not. No good finding out that you can't do it once you're in orbit around the moon. So Apollo 9 was a test of the equipment, of the manoeuvrability, and just to see 
if this really could be done. If they could capture the LEM from the LEM adapter and continue on their way. So that was one major test. They also had to replicate the lunar excursion module returning to the command module after its trip to the moon. Let's listen to astronaut James McDivitt, who knows a lot about it since he was on Apollo 9. So when we first got into orbit, we, were, we had a lot of stuff to do. And so we needed to make sure that we had the, all the data we could get. Excuse me for interrupting you there, James. Taff, look at that photo. You can see four lunar landing probes. One very clearly on the ladder leg. But a little more about that a little later. Please carry on, James. The lunar module had to land on the moon. Uh, I mean, that's what it was designed for. And then it had to get back up to the command module so there, there was a ride home. So there's your other test, Taff. They detached the lunar excursion module from the command and service modules, flew it 100 miles away, and then back again, just to make sure that it could dock again. How does that sports car handle, Jim? An even clearer view, Taff. One, two, three, four lunar landing probes. Pretty nice. It's really very difficult to get the coordinate system in your head. Normally we docked looking out this way. And for the docking with the lunar module, you had to look out this way. So the control system didn't, didn't operate the way it normally would. It was the most complicated, messy system of springs and levers and latches and, and unbelievably complex. So there you go. It was a very, very difficult task, but they showed that it could be done. Now about those lunar landing probes, let's have a look at the diagram of the LEM. Here you go, the lunar excursion module configured for initial lunar landing. You can see the four legs, and on the ladder leg, there's no lunar landing probe. Someone obviously realized at some point that when the LEM lands, that five foot long rod is going to be stuck out at some strange angle, right at the bottom of a ladder where the astronauts will get off, like this. And obviously, there's a risk of damage to their suits. So the simplest solution, do without the one on the ladder. They changed the design. <laughs> OK, Taff, you're so insistent that you're brilliant. I'm going to give you one Last chance to show that that photo is fake. And another thing, in the middle, you'll see here a deliberate inserted whistleblower's eye catcher. A white eyeball with a black pupil, and I'll give you a close-up view of it. Here you are, folks. A crop section of that opposite leg to the ladder leg. And with my left yellow arrow, you can see the eye catcher. An eye, a white patch with a black pupil. And that black pupil is looking forward, the direction of the ladder. Well, how many of you are convinced by that, folks? <laughs> so there you are, folks. There's all the proof you need that, that Apollo 9 LEM is 100% fake. Well, tough, me old China. This is obviously some new definition of the word proof that I've not been previously aware of. And as for your brilliance, it's about as brilliant as when Abraham Lincoln said, I'm bored, let's go out and take in a show. Expat Taffy One, you are a total spanner. <laughs> Until next time, stay sensible. Grr, grr. Shut, up Shut up and sit down. down.